Welcome to an example on how to factor a quadratic expression using the technique of factor by grouping. Here we want to factor 28x squared minus 5x minus 12 using the factor by grouping technique. The steps to factor a quadratic expression in the form ax squared plus bx plus c by grouping are given here. Step one, we want to find the factors of ac that add to b. So let's begin by identifying the values of a, b, and c. A, the coefficient of x squared is 28. B, the coefficient of x is negative 5. And C, the constant term is negative 12. So A times C or AC is equal to 28 times negative 12, which equals negative 336. So we're looking for the factors of negative 336 that add to B, which equals negative 5. So we're looking for two numbers, and when we multiply them, we get negative 336, and when we add them, we get negative 5. This is not an easy question, so whenever we get a challenging problem like this, it's often helpful to take a look at the prime factorization of AC, or in this case, negative 336. And let's go ahead and do this, but when we write out the prime factorization, we'll just look at positive 336, and then we'll deal with the signs after we find the prime factorization. So we know that 336 is equal to 28 times 12. And then, the, and then 28 is equal to 4 times 7. 7 is prime. 12 is equal to 4 times 3, or 3 is prime. And of course, 4 is equal to 2 times 2, both of which are prime. So the prime factorization of positive 336 would have four factors of two, one factor of three, and one factor of seven. So now what we can do is work with these prime factors to determine two numbers that multiply to give us negative 336 and add to negative five. Notice how if we take a look at these first four factors, two times two times two times two would be 16, and that leaves 3 times 7, which equals 21, which means two factors of negative 336 would be negative 16 times 21, as well as negative 21 times 16. And I think the two factors we're looking for that add to negative 5 are here. If we take a look at negative 21 times positive 16, we know that gives us negative 336, and also notice how negative 21 plus 16 does equal b, or negative 5, which means these are the two factors that we need. So for step two, we're going to write the bx term, or in this case, negative 5x, as a sum or difference using the factors from step one, which means we're going to rewrite the given expression as 28x squared, and then we'll write negative 5x as minus 21x plus 16x. So minus 21x plus 16x is still negative 5x, and then we have minus 12. In order to apply the factor by grouping technique, which is outlined in the next three steps, we do have to have an even number of terms, which we now have. So step three, we divide or group the polynomial into halves. So again, because we have four terms, the first half would be the first two terms, the second half would be the second two terms. Step four, we now factor out the greatest common factor from the first half and the second half. So looking at just the first two terms, notice how the greatest common factor would be 7x. So we'll factor out 7x from the first two terms only. that leave us with 4x minus 3. Now we want to factor the greatest common factor from the second two terms, which would be 4. So because we're factoring out positive 4, we'll write plus 4 and then we're left with the quantity 4x minus 3. Notice how we do have a common binomial factor in these two products, which should always be the case when applying the factor by grouping technique. So our last step, step five, is to factor out the common binomial factor. So if we factor out the quantity 4x minus 3, notice how we'll be left with 7x plus 4, which is our second factor. The order of the factors doesn't matter, but we now have the given trinomial in factored form. Of course, if we want to check this, we can find this product to verify 
we would get the given quadratic expression. And let's go ahead and show that. We have 4x minus 3 times the quantity 7x plus 4. To find this product, we distribute the 4x, and then we distribute the negative 3. So we'd have 4x times 7x, that's 28x squared. 4x times 4, that's 16x, or plus 16x. And we have negative 3 times 7x, that's negative 21x, or minus 21x. And then finally, we have negative 3 times positive 4, that's negative 12, or minus 12. Combining like terms, we have 28x squared, and 16x minus 21x is negative 5x, or minus 5x, and minus 12. And notice how this is the same as the given expression, which means this is factored correctly. I hope you found this helpful.